Hey guys, all right, we got a long one here. I'm trying to get through the rest of uh, Rocket Hideout in one sitting. So we'll see how well that goes. Anyway, I'm sitting here in my hotel room in uh, Pittsburgh. Um, still sitting in this hotel room. It's very warm. It's almost too warm. So I'm probably gonna have to fix that somehow. This is a great way to start off the video. Um, which I'm not gonna say. Well, I'm gonna say it. Welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Yellow with me, Amanda. Yay! Things you already knew because you clicked on it. Yeah, this is this is gonna be a, a very long one. I will try to think of things to talk about that are not just narrating what's happening on the screen. Um, so I watched a movie earlier on the very sparse uh, television available on this uh, thing, TV, <laughs> in the hotel. Um, that Sarah Palin movie, the game changer, whatever, yeah, that one. Um, I was, I initially tuned in because I was like, well, it's HBO and there's nothing else on except so much basketball, I'm so tired of March Madness already, it just started. Um, I was more tuning in to go, wait, who is that? That guy, I recognize him. Was he in Zombieland? I, maybe? I, oh my god, it's Hamish! Why is Hamish coaching Sarah Palin? I don't understand. That's that's the only reason I watched was Woody Harrelson, and I still didn't look up if um, he was in Zombieland. I think he was Tallahassee. I really, really want to say he was, but I can't be certain because he looked a little bit different in both the movies I named, Hunger Games and um, yeah, all three of those movies. He he looked kind of different. So I watched it and. I don't, I don't remember, there was some controversy surrounding it, and I don't remember um, what the controversy really was, whether it was inaccurate or whatever, because I really don't care, <laughs> like, to be perfectly honest, I don't. Um, my most watched videos concern Sarah Palin, um, you know, and Seth MacFarlane from way back when. Um, but I just don't care. Like, really. So I watched this movie, and I've, it humanized her for me. Which, it's been long enough that I don't really remember the 2008 elections. Um, at least, I don't remember it being as bad as this most, uh, the most recent election was. Um, so... And I think it was because, uh, at that point, politicians didn't really realize how to utilize social networking to their advantage. Um, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Not that they still understood how to use it, um, this time around. Um, so yeah, the movie kind of humanized her a little bit more for me, which, you know, good job with that, um, making me kind of sympathize with her. Um, but at the same time, I was just doing a lot of eye rolling. <laughs> so much eye rolling. But that's just kind of how I am. Um, yeah, in interesting movie. Um, very interesting. But then I changed the channel um, to another thing, because whatever was coming on next, I had seen it and I didn't want to watch it again. Um, another movie with Woody Harrelson from a while ago, and I don't know what it was because I didn't look it up, but I was just like, really? Are we just having Woody Harrelson appreciation night? Because it's not a bad thing, but it's unexpected. Yes, I don't know what the movie was. He was really good at basketball and um, just uh, hustled a bunch of guys in basketball. That's all I know about it. There was some sex and some really unsafe driving at one point. And yeah. That, that's literally the only thing I took away from it because I started to not pay attention because it wasn't really that interesting. I'm sorry, Woody Harrelson. Not that you're watching this video. Oh my god, what if Woody Harrelson was watching this video? I don't... Why would he be doing that? He's not doing that. Um, I'm in a little bit of trouble here, aren't I? Ooh. 
lots of really not great television on right now, um, which is kind of disappointing because I finally am like done with most of my homework, quote unquote. Um, you'd think on Saturday night there'd be at least be some movies going, but no. Oh, excuse me, I'm very tired. No, it's all basketball, March Madness. I'm, I'm, I'm so done. I'm tired of sports. They say this, and there's a sport on every season that I am aware of. Um, some I choose to make myself more aware of than others. This part, I remember thinking, oh please, can I just press the speed up button? Because this takes forever. But I didn't, because... I don't know why I didn't. I think I was just trying to not cheat on camera. <laughs> Cheating behind the scenes, now that's something different. Even though it's not really cheating, it's just speeding up through the boring parts. Never! I shall never stop meddling in Team Rocket's affairs. Oh my god, I think the people above me are having sex. There's some very uh, rhythmic thudding going on above me. Um, yeah, go for it, people. I'm going to ass I I can't even assume that there is. I yeah, I'm not going to. Go for it, person and other. I'm hoping there's two people involved, and this is not just really loud wanking. That'd be really weird if it was just one person just going at themselves and making this much noise. I'm surprised, I if, if this isn't picked up on the microphone, I'm going to be very surprised, because it's very loud to me. <sighs> oh, excuse me, I'm so tired. I got up really early to drive down here this morning. because I'm so boring. Don't hurt yourself. Dang it. Okay, so I have NCIS on the TV on mute, and I would like to talk about Abby's hair. If you've ever watched the show, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, Abby's hair always looks freshly dyed and also um, like she just got out of the shower. Um, like. Just the way that her hair sticks out um, looks so... My hair is still wet and I just came to work, but it's like that all day long even though, you know, they're, they have episodes where you are in the office day and night. And I don't know what kind of styling choices were made for this, but it just looks... Oh, oh, I, it just looks so weird. It looks so bad. Um, and I don't think it's because I know that Polly Perrette is a natural blonde. Um, pretty close to my hair. So her hair is always kind of freshly dyed. 
Um, because I, I didn't know that about her until after I've been watching NCIS for a couple of years. Um, so I think it's just the styling of her hair. It's somebody, whoever's doing it, just doesn't know how to make, uh, her ponytails have a natural fall at the end, so it doesn't look like it's wet all the time. <laughs> I just think it looks so bad. Every time I see it, it just drives me crazy, but I know nobody I know cares about NCIS, so I don't have anyone to talk to about this really inane thing that means absolutely nothing. Oh, and so I'm thinking about watching Game of Thrones. I know, I know, I'm, I'm a nerd, and I have not watched or read Game of Thrones. I have heard everything, so please do not berate me for this. I'm aware that I should have started watching it a while ago, but I just didn't care at all. Um, yeah. I'd heard about it before, um, this guy I used to work with, um, he is a big fan of the book series, I don't know if he's a fan of the show, um, but I do know that he was a fan of the book series when we worked together, and he told me, he's like, they're really good, and I just, you know, we're just so, like, everybody who loves the books, we're all just so afraid that the author is going to die before he finishes them, because it takes so long for him to write. And I didn't connect it till later, um, like I, he never mentioned the book series by name. I think he meant, well I think he mentioned A Song of Ice and Fire, um, which that is not what the show is called. And I started hearing more about it with the show and then I connected that the two things are one and the same. Um, so I didn't connect it, that that's what he was talking about until later and I was like, oh, it's the thing with the girls and the dragons and the boobs and there's a, uh, apparently there's a lot of boobs and there's everybody dies apparently all the time and everybody's sad about that i don't know i'm i'm basing this all on tumblr um which is known for being overly emotional about everything um so i've been like thinking for a while i'm like you know what i'll i'd probably like it if i watched it but i just don't want to I don't want to take the hassle of finding it, and also, it's not on Netflix. <laughs> if it was on Netflix, I would be watching it, but it's not, um, and I don't have HBO at home, so I can't watch it. Um, but just the other day, the word Khaleesi, and I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it correctly because I've only ever seen it written, um, it just kept popping up into my head randomly, so on Facebook I was like, so I think I need to start watching and or reading this series, Game of Thrones, because the word Khaleesi keeps popping up into my head. And then my friend Chris was like, yes, you must obey your Khaleesi. So apparently I'm on Team Danny, and um, I should watch slash read. Um, I think I, I have actually tried to read the books, like I tried to start, but I didn't know which one was the first one when I was in the library. And, um, like, most of them were checked out anyway, <laughs> so, uh, I couldn't do it if, even if I wanted to. So I think what I'm going to do is, um, find the, try and find the first episode or two online, and watch those at some point, just to see, um, if I like it. So I don't have to get really invested. I can just say, okay, I have it justified for Tumblr savioring Game of Thrones. Um, because otherwise, I would just... That's all I would see with some people I follow. Like, they post, you know, they're Doctor Who fans, and that's what I mostly follow them for. But then, you know, in the downtime, they're Game of Thrones fans. Um, so I have all that saved, um, blocked because I just got sick of seeing it. I'm like, I know, I know I should watch it, but I'm not going to, and your spam does not make me want to watch it even, you know, even more. 
So yeah, we'll, we'll see if I'm justified in blocking it or not. Um, I'm hoping that it's good, but I've heard just so many mixed things about it that I, I feel like... I feel like I could love it, but I feel like I could just as easily really not like it. Oh, I hate the stupid... Oh, my bag's too full. I hate that. I hate everything about it. That idea is stupid and you should feel stupid for it. So yeah, I'll get to Game of Thrones eventually. And stuff and things. I'm trying to figure out how to, um, which Pokemon to use the iron on. It's much harder to do that in these games. <laughs> Sorry about that. So glad it's not generation whatever they uh, introduced abilities because it would take so long because every but every rock type would have um what's it called uh the thing there's one ability that most rock types have that causes them to not uh, faint in one hit. I don't remember what it's called. Dang. I love Payday so much. Oh, I love Payday. I don't know if I've sang the praises of Payday before, but it's my favorite move, and I think only Meowth's version can use it. I don't remember any other Pokemon ever using it. I also think it stopped actually paying you um, in later generations, because every time I have seen on the rare occasions that you run into a Meowth or Persian um, in later generations, uh, I don't remember seeing you picked up blah 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 polka dollars. I don't, that's, I never see that, so I don't know if it just automatically added into your wallet, or if it just stopped doing it, which, why then would you still have that move? Which is the best move, because money. Even though it's much easier to earn money in later games than it is after this game. And I figured out why, you know, this game, these games, the first generation, they didn't, um, you know, they didn't anticipate you to want to keep playing after you beat the Elite Four because, oh, I won. Well, okay, no, I want to keep playing and there's, there's nothing, you know, I can do some stuff but I can't do everything. So, in later games, they added more stuff for you to do after you uh, beat the Elite Four because you wanted to keep playing and, you know, you unlock new areas and stuff. So, I, that was fun to figure out. That it's all because we wanted to keep playing and so they let us. Oh my god, seriously, there was the last sand, really? Is... 
Custard's last stand. Is that what it is? I'm so I'm Civil War is not my area of history. As we are almost out of time together. Thank you again for watching. Amanda plays Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. Thank you, and uh, you will not see me, and I will not see you, but you will hear me next time. Okay, thank you so much. Bye.